All right, hey guys, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM Leasing. Today I wanna to talk about a phone call that I received about an AC issue. The complaint was is that the blower motor would come on, then go off. They see that the dash is lit up, but the blower motor is not coming on. Sometimes it kicks in, sometimes it doesn't. So what I asked her to do was check a few areas. One, I need to know where the blower motor issue is happening. It depends on the phone call that I got. This one happened to happen to be in the front part of the cab but I did receive another phone call where the blower motor in the bunk was causing the same issue. With this issue, it was with a Freightliner Cascadia 2019 to 2020. So that's with the newer body style, right? So I'm gonna show you where you need to check out these two wires. So that's your power and ground. They're big wires, one blue, one black. And what happens is the contact in the plug barely touches and it'll get hot and usually starts melting the plug. So I'm gonna show you guys where that's located. So the first one for the bunk, it's gonna be a little time, but don't get stressed out. I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. And by you guys doing this, will save you a lot of money so you don't have to go to the shop. Now, the second one, the one for the, for the cab is a lot easier. You won't need the tools other than just the tools to crimp and to heat butt connectors and a cutter to cut the wire. The first thing I wanna do is, well, we're gonna start the one with the one in the bunk. So right now I'm on the driver's side and right here behind me is this step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this step and remove the one panel right here on the side wall of this pillar. And that's gonna give us access to the wires. And that wire will run along this side, going to the bunk. So the tool that you're gonna need is, is a, a T20, right? It's a T bit. As I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right here. And I'm gonna put it on my gun. Now, if you guys have a hand one, it's perfectly fine. And just always remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So there's gonna be three screws that we're gonna remove. Now that was pretty easy. Now, when you guys pull these out, just remember you guys step on these bolts all the time. So if you have a pick or maybe a toothpick inside the truck, clean out the little debris area so your uh, torque pick can go in there so you don't round off the head by accident. So just make sure it's nice and clean. Use a toothpick or a pick. And once you get that out, then you can put your tool in there and remove. Once you do that, pull up on the step, step comes off. Put it off to the side. And if anything, if you have a cup that you have in your truck, put it in there. I'm gonna actually just put this in front of the seat. And then the next thing is the seal right here that goes around. All we're gonna do is grab the one in the front and pull up. We're not gonna pull it all the way out, just about all the way up to where you could probably see your vent right here on the driver's side. Once you do that, just put it off to the side or if you want, just feed it between the door so it's out of your way. And then the next thing is right here, there's a panel. All right, so once you remove the rubber, right, we're gonna remove this side panel here. So where you hold on to the bar to get up, there's a piece of plastic right here, just use your finger and it pops right out. Now, someone's been in this panel before because there's a screw missing here and there's a screw missing up here, which allows this panel to stay secured. Considering it's not there, it's gonna make our lives a little bit easier. Thank you from the last technician that didn't do the work properly. Yay. So all I do is pull this out. Now we're not gonna pull it completely out. All I wanna do is just get this out of the way so we can expose the wires, right? And then the next thing is see the nine pin connector here? Just gonna unscrew that and then just wiggle that bad boy out. And then now you can move this to the top, just like so. Now, as you can see, our lovely wires and nice, nice, gorgeous, dirty area. So if you guys wanna know where all the stuff from your shoes go, it's right here, nice and dirty. All right, see this big blue wire right here? All right, so this one has just the blue wire, not the ground wire. But right here is for your AC. So what we can do is we can definitely check. As you can tell, get a little bit of heat. And then the other side. So usually what you'll do is you'll see it where it's melted. And what I'll do is I'll cut this wire and then cut the other wire off. Instead of trying to get another plug, get the yellow butt connector. You're gonna cut the one end off the other and just connect the two wires together. And remember, we're gonna crimp with these and it's a heat shrinking butt connector. So we're gonna crimp it, check our, and verify that the repair is complete. Blow motor should be working at all speeds. Once it does that, we're gonna heat it up 
make sure it melts onto the line, as well as a little bit of electrical tape. That's where that wire is located. Now the next one's a lot easier. And then whatever you guys took off, you just do it back in reverse. You know, same thing, bring this bad boy back down. Once you have that back in, now, I'm not gonna put it back completely together because I'm gonna put the uh, missing screws back in. So I'll get back to this, but I am gonna show you the other location where the blower motor is for the front part of the cab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the passenger seat. So I'll see you guys there in a second. All right guys, welcome back. So now we are on the passenger side, but we're gonna talk about the front blower motor. So we're gonna get access to the blower motor. There's a panel right here and it says pull. What we're gonna do is pull and wow, it's off. So place that out of the way. And then right here is where you're gonna see the blue and black wire for the blower motor. So this is where typically another issue will occur. Like I said, contact of the wires that are getting hot and then it melts the plug. So what we would do is with the two wires on this one, now remember one wire for power going to the bunk and the front, it's gonna have two wires, a blue and a black. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a buck connector for this one, cut the plug out and just put the butt connector in so you guys can get up and running, blower motor staying nice and cool in the truck on a hot day. Like I said, it's right here. You have a blue and black and it's right here in the corner. And what you do is you would unplug it. Now this truck doesn't have this issue, but I just wanted to show you guys, but what you would see is when you pull the plug, one, it might be a little tough to pull, but then you'll see where it's melted, especially on the power side. That's where the issue usually occurs. And like I said, all we're gonna do is cut the ends off and then put the butt connectors, you know, put them together, make sure you pull, make sure it's nice and tight, turn on the AC. If the blower motor is working great, then we're gonna heat up the butt connectors, put a little electrical tape, and then you're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then at that point, you could put a zip tie to secure the wire. And then once you're done with that, put your cover on, go throughout your day, stay nice and cold in your truck. All right, guys, so just a quick recap. So again, just remember, it was for the blower motor situation when it comes to the AC. Blower motor comes in, goes out, or I forgot to mention, also you might smell maybe a little bit of an electrical smell in the front. But again, this is for the blower motor for the front part of the cab, as well as the bunk. Remember here in the corner, one wire blue, and then up in the cab, you have a black and white, uh, black and blue wire, and don't forget your butt connector. Again, just a quick recap of the AC blower motor not working in your Freightliner Cascadia. You remember 2019 and newer with the newer body style. So if you guys like what you saw today, please don't forget to pound that like button. If you have any questions, concerns, or anything that you may want answered, please leave me a comment at the bottom. And if you guys want more content, more how to do, save money, and all that kind of fun stuff, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.